Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite events. So today I'm gonna show you how to turn this character, this pose, into this. And the first thing we're gonna do guys is downloading our character from Sketchfab. You can download it also from other websites, it doesn't matter. And just make sure while you are downloading that the format is actually working in the Unreal Engine. So GLP is works, FBX also works, and there's other formats that I explained in my previous videos. So just download this file. So this is where I downloaded the file. Now I'm gonna extract it to here. Just make sure to extract the file. Then I'm gonna drag this one. But before I drag, I go back to here and I make a new folder for this new file. Just go to content and let's make uh, a new folder from here let's open it and now let's drag this into the new folder just make sure it's default then press import now what you're gonna do is uh this is a skeleton by the way it's important that any character that you have any object that you have it doesn't really have to be a character but any object that you have it must have a skeleton mesh otherwise you will not be able to edit that pose so what i'm gonna do is double click on that character that skeleton i mean so once you double click on that skeleton you will see that on the left hand you will see these these actually you can control everything on the character this is the spine this is the left shoulder this is the right arm etc so what i'm gonna do is going to uh edit the left leg so yeah let's move this direction and let's make it like that 90 degrees also i'm gonna edit the right uh sorry the right leg just the same to make it as 90 degrees of course you make any other movement i'm just say, saying an example then uh again this one i'm gonna just make it lower this and uh the other foot as well okay now i did both legs of course if you want to uh, uh you know make the hands you go down until you find the hand you can just this is the head okay i can also edit the head if you want to make it like this or like this so actually just keep editing the arms direction and let's say you want to make it here here yeah just keep editing until you find your perfect pose or whatever you want to do with your character then now let's move to how to save that pose simply you have two options if you already finish what you want with your character finally and you're not gonna back to this character anymore you can make a static mesh but in that case if you did a static mesh you will not be able to edit that character anymore so even if you make a mistake you will not be able to edit that mistake so be careful from making a static mesh so yeah make it at static mesh one okay uh now if you want to actually come back to this to this pose and edit it later just in case if you change your mind and you want to make some edits maybe enhance and stuff in this case we're gonna do a create uh, assist and create animation and we're gonna create uh, the current pose so in that case, you will be able to come back to this pose and edit it to make another static mesh later. So I edit it as pose. And as you can see, if I come back to the new folder, you will find uh, I already saved the, the animation sequence, which is this one. As you can see, if I double click on that one, I can actually pose here. Sorry, I can just pose here. I can actually edit that sequence one more time. I can edit anything from the hands etc then I can actually make a new static mesh just in case if you want to come back to this character and edit it one more time anyways let's go back and actually I saved I don't remember where I saved the static mesh most likely I did save it here yeah I did save it here so what I'm gonna do is dragging this static mesh and just put it here and let's say I want to get Oh, that was, uh, that wasn't the new static mesh. That was old. Yeah. This is static mesh one. Yeah. It's also really, you look the same. Anyways, let's, let's say I want to make, uh, this character stand on a chair or something. So I'm going to go to Fortnite, search for a chair and let's get any type of chair you want. Let's say I'm going to get this one. Then I will drag this character, just align it with the chair like this. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Of course, the hands is, is inside the chair. That's why I said 
sometimes you need to actually go back and edit the character one more time so in that case i need to go back to the sequence which is can be found in the new folder which is uh the sequence and i need to actually edit the left hand so like here left arm i just can make it okay yeah i just ma make it like that i i i'm just making random animation then now we can save it as a static mesh to uh maybe the new folder and yes if i come back to here i can actually delete this one and get the new one to put it here again in that case it will be perfectly fine with my 3d characters so i don't have a problem with other hands and stuff so just make sure to make that and by the way you can make any pose you want it doesn't matter you don't really have to make it like standing on a chair you just make any other pose and if you like the video make sure to subscribe and let me know what should i do next in my next video